In this tutorial, we will learn how to make our car run parallel to the wall at a fixed distance. We will implement two nodes. A node that uses the laser scans from the lidar to determine the distance from the wall and another node to apply the PID on this error to determine the steering angle. We shall follow the algorithm described in the lectures. First, let's go through a simple procedure to calculate the distance of the wall from the car and hence calculate the deviation from the desired trajectory. The LIDAR scans from right to left corresponding to 0 to 180 degrees, with 90 degree being the front of the car. We pick two rays at 0 degree and theta degrees, theta being some angle between 0 to 70 degrees. Let alpha be the orientation of the car with respect to the wall. The LIDAR scans are also rotated by an angle alpha. By solving the geometric problem, we can establish alpha as the tan inverse of a cos theta minus b divided by a sin theta and the distance from the wall ab as b cos alpha. If the desired trajectory is 1 meter from the wall, then generally the error that has to be controlled by the PID is 1 minus ab. But we cannot use this distance directly. Due to the high speed of the car and a finite delay in execution of the maneuver, we project the car forward a certain distance from its current position. Now, to find the distance of the car from the wall, we need to add the sine component of the additional distance travelled. Therefore, the distance becomes AB plus AC into sine alpha. Hence, the error to be compensated for is the difference between CD and the desired trajectory. Now, we have the error. We can use it in the PID equation to determine the amount of correction to be given to the steering. Now let's have a look at the PID equations. This is a standard PID equation where E of t is the error from the desired trajectory. As seen in the lecture, we will be using only the KP and KD controls. Hence, we implement this as a tunable variable KP times the error plus another tunable variable KD times the difference in the previous error and the current error. Use this value to increment or decrement your steering angles. In the practice session, you will be implementing this in code and in the end of the session, you will be having the car driving parallel in the corridor. 